Hello, I'm Mark Savard, and welcome to a Motivational Minute. 60 seconds starts now. Did you know that I'm friends with Mark Savard? Yeah, the professional and former NHL hockey player who played for the Boston Bruins. Well, he and his wife, Valerie, came to my show last year. Our wives uh, went out for dinner with us. We had drinks and food. We had a great time. It turned out that we all had a lot in common. And so, of course, we just hit it off. Or was there more to it? It's possible that something called implicit egotisticism was at play. What's that? Well, it's the scientific theory that people are subconsciously attracted to things that they associate with themselves. Did you know that the city of Jacksonville, Florida has 2.2 times as many men named Jack than any other, even larger cities? It happens with career choices, too. It turns out that there's a disproportionate number of men named Dennis who go into dentistry. People with the last name Carpenter are more likely to become carpenters. The same goes for the names Virginia and Georgia. Can you guess which states you might find a lot of those names? Even people with the same birthdays are slightly more likely to marry each other. Now, recent studies into this phenomenon have even shown a correlation between the first letter of kids' names and the grades they achieve at school. Statistically, kids with a name starting with an A or a B are more likely to get A's and B's. And those names who start with a C and D, I'm sure you can guess. Those of you named Fred, Frank, or Francis, sorry. Take a look around you. Do you and your husband share a birthday, or is your last name Parks and you happen to live in Park City, Utah? It turns out that a lot of life's little coincidences are actually fueled by choices made in the subconscious mind. Cool, right? Well, here's a true story. My middle name is Richard sometimes abbreviated with the name Dick. Be sure to tag someone who you think might enjoy this message. Now let me know how you're doing. Like, comment, share, and retweet. See you next week. Having a hard time throwing away that crappy painting of a swirly tree you made at the painting and wine party last year? It's not your fault. Humans are subconsciously attracted to the things that they associate with themselves. Even that crappy painting. Lock that into your mind.